you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. So blue screen errors can be a hardware or software issue. Today, we're gonna go over both. We're gonna hit your power button, and immediately start tapping on F12 to test your hardware. You didn't realize this when you bought a Dell, but Dell comes with built-in software, uh, sorry, diagnostic software that tests all your hardware components. Use your arrow down key, hit enter when you get diagnostics, and this will test all your hardware. Um, it's, it's testing the LCD right now. When it's done, hit yes. Okay, so we're looking specifically for hard drive or RAM uh, issues uh, or, or failure in this diagnostic. You can see my battery's at end of life, but I'm looking for hard drive or RAM specifically for blue screen errors. Uh, so as you can see, mine passed. If your hard drive failed, uh, we have a link down below on how to go about replacing it. So now I'm gonna move on to the software solutions. You're gonna hit your power button. And once it gets past the Dell screen and it starts to load Windows, see that pinwheel, hold down shift, and then hold your power button to turn it off. And continue holding down shift, don't let go. Once it's completely turned off, hit your power button again, because we're gonna try to access your recovery man manager, because now we're gonna address the software side of things. So we're gonna try to reset your computer, which can fix a lot of these blue screen errors. If the reset doesn't work, then you will have to move on to reinstalling Windows, which once again, we have a link down below on how to do that. But a factory reset's a little bit easier for your everyday user. So see advanced repair options. That's what we're gonna select. Troubleshoot, enter. Reset this PC. We're gonna use the remove everything. As you see, there is a keep my files option, which you can try a soft reset. It, it will let you keep your files, but it's less likely to work. The remove everything option, is brutal, you lose all your information, but tends to be more effective. So kinda depends on what you wanna try first. And once I get it to load, and once again, if there's any sort of error resetting, sometimes the operating system is just too corrupt and you have to go ahead and reinstall. Once again, like I said, have a link down below on how to do that. I'm gonna hit fully clean the drive so I'm gonna hit enter and then the computer will start resetting. For Like I said before, if for any reason it, it errors out, doesn't work, then you can go ahead and move on to the reinstall option. But try the reset first and then you have that reinstall option as a plan for if for any reason your reset doesn't work. But anyway, that is how you address a blue screen error. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.